Hi, in this video I'd like to show you our WooCommerce shipping plugin. This is a premium plugin that provides a whole host of shipping functionality. Whether you're looking to ship by weight, or maybe ship by the number of items in the cart, or perhaps you have complex shipping needs that need multiple shipping classes and a whole host of complex rules, chances are we can probably handle your needs. You can find more videos that showcase some of that functionality in the links below. Take a look. If you do have any questions though, feel free to contact us via our support page and we are happy to answer any questions you may have. In this video, I'm going to show you a simple example of shipping by item count, sometimes called the number of items in the, car, in the cart. So we're going to head on over to our WooCommerce store, jump into settings, and then into shipping. The first thing we need to do is set up a shipping zone. If you're unfamiliar with shipping zones, take a look at our site and our knowledge base. We have a description of how they work. They are very powerful tools with inside WooCommerce. And if you're going to do any shipping, it'd be worth your while making sure you understand these. So we're just going to add our first shipping zone. We're going to make it pretty simple. And we're going to set up this zone to be for a country. In this case, the United States. What we're saying here is these rules are going to be applied to any orders that are for this zone, uh, the United States. So any orders that come in for the US, we're going to apply these rules. So let's add a shipping method. We're going to pick Table Rate Pro, which is our plugin, and add that in. WooCommerce saves that for us. So now let's go in and set up the rules. First thing we need to do is add our first method. We're going to enable it and say we actually want to use this method. And we're going to call it standard. This is just the text that will appear on either the car or the checkout page. You can set it to whatever makes sense for your business, whether it's standard, express, overnight, local pickup, whatever makes sense for you. Then you can optionally enter a handling fee. This is just an amount that is added to every order. Leave it blank if you don't want to add anything. And then we can tell the plugin whether we want the shipping to be taxable or non-taxable. Then we get to the meat of the rules and we're going to actually set up a rule. We have a fair amount of options here and I'm going to quickly walk through them. The first thing we can do is tell the plugin do we want to apply this rule based on shipping class. Again if you're not familiar with shipping classes in WooCommerce take a look at our site we have an excellent article which talks about them. In this case we're going to say nope we want to apply this rule to any items that don't have a class set. Then we tell the plugin how do you want to apply this rule and we're going to apply it by item count. This is simply telling the plugin I want you to set up the shipping based on the number of items in the cart. And we're going to apply this to carts that come in with between zero and infinity. The asterisk represents infinity uh, amount of items. So this will cover every scenario, whether you've got one, 500, 5,000, or 5 million items in the cart, this rule will match. And then we get to tell the plugin, well, how much do you actually want to charge? What we're going to charge is $3 per order and a dollar per item. So if we have one item it will get charged the three dollars plus one will be four dollars. If we have two items it will get charged the three dollars plus two dollars would be five dollars. Pretty simple. A pretty common setup for shipping. Uh, maybe you're a little more complex, maybe you're doing something similar but uh, hopefully this gives you an idea of exactly the sort of things a plugin can do. So we're just going to save those changes and they're done. So now let's hop over to our cart and take a look at the plugin actually in action. I'm just going to update the cart to two items. And lo and behold, the shipping is $5. That's $3 of the base amount plus a dollar per item. We got two do two items, so that's $2 for a total of 5. If I up it to $5, we should get a dollar per item of 5 plus the base of 3 should be 8. Fantastic. If I go down to 1, you get the idea. $3 base plus the $1 per item. So hopefully that gives you an idea of the kind of power and flexibility in this plugin. I've only scratched the surface. There's a whole host more. But if you do have any questions, as I said, reach out to us on our support page. We're very happy to answer any questions. And I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your time.